Hello everyone, so today I wanted to talk about families of right triangles. We've been working a lot with right triangles in general lately, and with that came the Pythagorean Theorem. And with the Pythagorean Theorem comes a special set of numbers that satisfy the Pythagorean Theorem, and we call those Pythagorean triples. So Pythagorean triples are any three whole numbers, so no decimals, that satisfy the Pythagorean Theorem, which if you've forgotten already is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is your longest side. So some triples that you may see are the 3, 4, 5, the 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17. Those four are the most common. Others that you may see pop up are 9, 40, 41, 11, 60, 61, 20, 21, 29, 12, 35, 37, and the list goes on. You can Google Pythagorean triples and you'll come up with a list of hundreds and hundreds. And some of those are just multiples of these, which we'll talk about in a second, but some of them are actually unique because the bigger the triangle is, the larger the potential Pythagorean triple could be. So knowing these can be a definite time saver for yourself. Now the families are just the multiples of Pythagorean triples. So if I was looking at the 5, 12, 13, and I multiplied each side by 2, I would have a 10, 24, 26 triangle. That is also a triple, it's just not unique because it's stemming from the 5, 12, 13. If I multiplied by 3, I'd have a 15, 36, 39 triangle. Similarly with 7, 24, 25, if I multiplied by 2, I'd have 14, 48, 50. And if I multiplied by 3, I'd have to have 21, 72, 75. And we could even look at the same thing with the 8, 15, 17. Multiply by 2, multiply by 3. So since Pythagorean triple is strictly whole numbers that satisfy the Pythagorean theorem, technically all of these are Pythagorean triples. However, they are within the same family, so we would normally just consider the 5, 12, 13, and the 7, 24, 25, and the 8, 15, 17 out of these page, as far as unique triples would go. So how this might come in handy is if we were looking for the missing side of this triangle, I see an 8 something and 10, well, that's not based off my triples themselves, but I know that 8 is 4 times 2, and 10 is 5 times 2, so it looks like I'm looking at my 3, 4, 5 triangle, just double the size. It's a dilation of it. So I know this one's got to be 3 times 2, which is 6. And had I done my Pythagorean theorem to check, I do end up getting 6. So a lot of our homework answers have been these nice whole numbers. Without knowing it, you've been working with Pythagorean triples. So this saves you from always having to do the Pythagorean Theorem. If you have to fall back on the Pythagorean Theorem or you want to use it just to check, you're more than welcome. However, this will be a very big time saver and will be a quicker way that you could get through some of these problems. So we'll practice some of these in class and work with some problems. I'll see you then.